Okay, just before I toddle off to bed, I thought I'd just make another little quickie. Uh, it's actually the second attempt at this because the first one I, I got into a uh, a rant, an angry rant. Um, but in essence, this is in a response to a series of videos in regards to Roman technology and Baalbek and the sophistry, which is a fancy word for bullshit, being promoted by certain non-researching or lying commentators. And so, for instance, uh, the lost high technology argument basically goes like this. They could not cut all those stones, therefore they had access to lost high technology. Or the ancient people could not move these stones, therefore they must have had access to lost high technology. Now, throughout this lost high technology community, it's a consistent and repeated effort to either diminish Roman technology or, or any other technologies and an intentional effort to exclude important um, information. Now, for instance, this is a rather famous piece of video. Wally Wallington, he's using uh, he did not invent these techniques. They're very again. It's it's he he sort of made them famous, but they because he showed with one man can move twenty ton blocks with ease. Uh, this already debunks the lost high technology argument with wood and with ropes. One man can move twenty tons easily. So already the lost high technology argument is gone because if you can do it, uh, therefore the the they could not do it, therefore lost high technology argument is absolutely debunked. Now this recent uh, garbage person who makes garbage videos and spreads disinformation across the internet to uh, uh, you know a, a wide audience, um, occasionally he'll bring up uh, Wally Wallington and well okay so for instance in this I'm gonna, I've got some follow-ups coming on to go through it in detail and again uh, following through and disconnecting the contradictions and the falsehoods and exposing certain characters for the false characters that they are. But he says, well, um, firstly that Wally Wallington is a bad example because for some reason the stones, they didn't have room at Baalbek. Now, I, I can't understand that. I really can't understand how anyone could uh, promote that argument, let alone sort of just look at the site and go, well, what's the problem? Where Where, where is this missing room you know there's there's more than enough room at, at Baalbek it's like it's, it's so absurd it's like I don't know how to even argue the point it's it's I mean the picture literally shows you the, the, the room you need to manipulate these stones and create uh, the um, whether a ramp or a gantry train gantry tr uh, crane or the other methods of known existing Roman technology, which was, they inherited their technology from the Greeks and the Persians and the Egyptians and these other things. Roman technology was part of this line, this evolution of technologies. Um, but so, okay, so let's look at it. Um, a really garbage argument. So the actual quote used by this person is, what did they use for pressurized water? I mean, surely they didn't have electrical motors or gas engines to pump water, did they? Uh, in this series of garbage videos of false facts and or of non-existent reason of lies let's just let's call it what it is it's lies um throughout this video they make certain claims of fact which are abs which are over 90 percent false and not only are they false they're easily to easy to check so the, the your um you're intellectually lazy or you're a fraud Either way, uh, your facts are non-facts. But also throughout this series of video, it's also peppered with a bunch of infomercial type explanations. I mean, if you've seen an infomercial, so uh, they might be selling a mop, and then you see someone with an old mop, and they're sort of, you know, stumbling over, and this for some reason this old mop's making them fall over and stumble, and they're bumping into furniture and all of a sudden they become sort of an absolute klutz. But when they get this new mop, it's, oh, look at me, you know. Like, that, this is the level of falsehood that, it, like, that this guy is an infomercial. He's, he's, you know, like Billy Mays resurrected with uh, info, infomercial early morning TV advertising tactics. And so this particular quote needs to be understood that it's, it's a series of, apart from, factual claims that are non-facts, he also makes a, a long series of implications. And so, for instance, ha ha ha, 
What did they use for pressurised water? I mean, surely they didn't have electrical motors or gas engines to pump water, did they? Ha ha ha! Very, imagine just like one of those infomercials. Now, this guy claims to, he's making definitive claims about Roman technology. And, well, he doesn't know anything about Roman technology. Or he does and he's lying. But either way, um, so if you were to check, well, the Romans didn't have electrical mo motors or gas engines to pump water. Well, Heron the Great had actually invented uh, steam power and the Romans were on, the, on the, the cusp of a scientific revolution that would have put them equal to the Industrial Revolution. Do not comment about Roman, Persian, Greek, Egyptian or any other technology unless you have some idea what you're talking about. Because otherwise you are a bullshit artist. And so, for instance, well, the Romans, well, okay, I agree, the Romans didn't have electrical motors or gas engines to pump water, did they? No, but they had all sorts of other different energy to put into. For instance, this is a literally a piece of Roman technology. It is a pump. It is not the only pump. The Romans pumped flooded mines. Do you understand what I'm saying? A flooded mine. Romans pumped these things out. Uh, they had hoses. This, again, do your research. They, you know, this, uh, piston driven hand cranked pumps. Now, this is a drawing of one. Roman tech. Now, this is not Roman. This is actually later, but this is built on the, built on the and exactly the same. This pump here is this pump here is this pump here. This is a fire engine. This was used for centuries. Okay. Your facts and your implications are false. They are just not true. You are spreading disinformation. You are not a truth seeker. You are not a researcher. You're not an honest broker. You're garbage. <laughs>